Whitney Wolfhard was inspired to develop an empowering dating experience for women after leaving Tinder and an abusive relationship in 2014. For all the advances women had made in workplaces and corridors of power, the gender dynamics of dating and romance still seemed so outdated, writes Wolfhard on Bumble's website. What if I could flip that on its head? What if women took the initiative and sent the first message? Wolfhard, Badu co-founder Andre Andreev, and former Tinder employees Chris Golsinski and Sarah Mick created a dating app that compels women to initiate contact in heterosexual matches. The brand gained traction, particularly on college campuses, and the program received 100,000 downloads in its first month. Wolfhood remains a strong advocate for gender equality and sexual harassment prevention as its user base expands, developing in-app features that block hate speech and blur inappropriate pictures. Wolfhood and her staff also lobbied Texas, where the business is headquartered, to pass legislation prohibiting the sending of unsolicited lewd photos, which was passed in 2019. I'm more committed than ever to advancing gender equality, and putting an end to the misogyny that still plagues society, Wolfhard writes to Bumble users in a letter. I want nothing more than for your connections to be both meaningful and healthy, she says later. Wolfhard's tale serves as a reminder to draw inspiration from your own life and use a cause you care about to differentiate your product and brand in a crowded market. If you have enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. If you didn't, I still love you anyways.